Hi folks, uh, another video from Rusty Fishbones. Um, we have a, a list box here with uh, countries of origin or a list of countries. So what we want to do is we want to uh, use a thing called apply map. It's a basically click views version of a VLOOKUP in Excel. So what we're trying to do is we're going to try and say, okay, Andorra, Argentina, Armenia, and so on. They 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 all belong to a continent. So we're trying to bring in a list of countries and the continent to which they uh, which they belong to, and then try and bring that in so that you don't have to uh, mess up any tables. So first thing we're going to do is press uh, Control E to go into the script. I'm going to create a new tab called Mapping because what we're trying to do here is we're going to create mapping tables now the thing about mapping tables is you have to create uh, you have, we're going to have to promote it so it needs to precede or become before the main table so once we create the the mapping uh, tab with the table files we've got a, I've already I downloaded this from the net it's called a, I named a country map so it's basically a list of countries and the continent to which they belong to so if I double click this I get uh, options so it's an Excel spreadsheet labels I want to choose embedded labels and we've got country of origin and the continent to which it belongs to so Algeria Africa and so on click finish I'm gonna rename this it's called um, country map and colon and then underneath that we're going to say mapping because it is a mapping table so basically a mapping table is has to precede the main table which is this table here so that contains all the data a mapping table has to only have two columns so in this instance it's the country of origin and the continent so it must remain that way so you name it put mapping before the load sequence and only have two columns and then in your main uh, table just underneath country of origin press enter and type in the following apply map open your parentheses go back into your mapping table copy the name of the table go back into your main it needs to be in single quotes paste then after the last single quote that encloses the, the basically the table that you're doing a lookup against if you can understand this apply map is like the lookup function so you say basically saying v lookup the table that you want to look up comma the field that you want to look up against which is a uh, country of origin so you can copy this and paste comma if there's an error so in Excel you would say you put zero after the two so for an exact match so in this we're going to say unclassified so if anything comes back that's not matching what we're looking for close parentheses as and so you apply map against country of origin which is in the mapping table country of origin and what we want back is continent so if we copy that go back into the main table and paste and put a comma after that so everything seems to be done now at the moment so we've basically created a VLOOKUP against this table the common factor between both is country of origin and if it's wrong it's going to be unclassified or if it's not matched um, I'm going to name it as continent because that's what we want to get back so if I click reload now what I can do is I can create a new list box in the file that I've been using choose continent And now I can choose Africa, Asia, Europe. And you can see we have got one unclassified, which I don't even know the name of that country, Jekyllia. I got that from a, a 
previous download of countries of the world but again it goes to show that the unclassified bit of the script works because everything else is working fine the only one unclassified is this country called Jekyllia never even heard of it before and what you can do is then go into the Excel spreadsheet that contains or the CSV file whatever it is that contains the list of your countries and you can add that in because you're missing it but otherwise if you didn't put that into the script you would never find it so that's basically what we've learned there is we've we had a list of um i'm just going to clear this again we had a list of countries we didn't know what content we were from i downloaded a list from the internet that had all countries of the world that had the content that they were from and i used a, basically an employee map that's the, an equivalent version of an excel fee lookup that looked up one against the other and gave back the, the content so we can see we can switch between africa I haven't chosen date but 2010 Europe Asia Africa North America Oceania South America and the unclassified is uh, this country I've never heard of anyway that's pretty much it that's how to a simple version of the apply map function what I will say is um, a, a, a guy called Steve Dark from uh, Quintelligence he's a uh, he's got some videos on YouTube and he has got a blog post on the ploy map it didn't work for me because listen it's brilliant but it didn't work for me because i'm more of a visual person um but it is pretty good for those of you that like to read text it's it's pretty good so check that out first and then attempt because there is many different scenarios to uh, the deploy map function or the, the vlookup version of in, in clickview for excel so i hope that helps and i'll see you next video thanks a lot cheers